Now, we need to subtract a fraction from a mixed number. So first, we have 1 and 9 tenths minus 4 tenths. So first, let's see if we can subtract 4 tenths from 9 tenths. Remember, when we subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same and 9 minus 4 is 5. So our fraction is 5 tenths. But in our question, we start with one whole. We're not taking any holes away, so we still have that one hole in our answer, 1 and 5 tenths. Next, 2 and 4 fifths minus 3 fifths. If we subtract 3 fifths from 4 fifths, we get 1 fifth as our fraction because the denominator stays the same, 4 minus 3 is 1. But again, here we started with 2 holes. We weren't subtracting any holes, so we still have those two holes in our answer. Finally, 1 and 5 eighths minus 3 eighths. When we subtract fractions, the denominator stays the same, and 5 minus 3 is 2. We still have our one hole, because we're not taking any holes away, so that gives us our answer, 1 and 2 eighths. So, we can show fraction bars to show what we did here. We started with 1 and 9 tenths, so that's 1 whole and 9 tenths, and we were subtracting 4 tenths. If we subtract 1, 2, 3, 4 tenths to show what we've subtracted in yellow, that leaves us with 1 whole and then 5 tenths of this fraction bar still in blue, so that's our answer, 1 and 5 tenths. Then we had two holes and four fifths. We subtracted one, two, three fifths to get two and one fifth as our answer. Then we had one and five eighths. We subtracted one, two, three of those eighths to give us one hole and two eighths left in blue, so that's our answer. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.